Hey guys, it's Marty with another KW Command training video for you. And today I want to talk about the DTD2 tags. DTD2 stands for Do the Database 2. Uh, it's a system that was originally featured in um, Never Ending Referrals with Steve Schlater. And um, basically you can now do this for KW Command. So I want to show you how that works. Essentially what DTD2 does is it separates the alphabet into 13 two letter categories. And it's based upon the percentage of last names that start with those letters. So you can see the first tag or the first uh, DTD2 group would be A and W, and that would feature 10.54% of all US names ending in those two letters. So essentially what DTD2 does is it breaks down calling your sphere into two letters per week for 13 weeks in a row which would essentially mean that you call your entire database four times a year. So it's a great way to kind of keep in touch with your database. And it's even simpler when you start to incorporate KW command. So what I'm going to train you on today is how to tag your database with the DTD2 tags. So that's simple and easy to filter your database for who you're calling that week. So we're going to start in KW command and we're going to be in contacts. First thing we need to do is add the filters, or excuse me, the uh, custom tags. So we need to add custom tags. So we're using my wife's account because I already have these set up in my account. So I'm going to train you here. But we're going to click on this down arrow and choose settings. And then we're going into command settings and custom tags. And once here, we can choose to create new tag. And we're going to create those based upon these DT do to groups or uh, tags, if you will. So the first one is A and W. So we'll go into command and we'll filter A and W. You can choose any color you'd like for these tags. I would just recommend that they're all the same color. I did mine all in red. So you would create that tag, choose your tag color and then hit create. And then you're going to do that 12 more times so that you get to the point where you have created 13 tags one with each of these letter combinations listed here. And I'll have a link or uh, upload or somehow include this document for you to review when you're creating your tags. So 13 tags in your database. The next thing, once all 13 tags have been created underneath custom tags is to go back into contacts. And then you can quickly and easily add these tags by using bulk tags. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna click on name and make sure that we are sorted by last name A to Z. So last name A dash Z, because again, these tags are based upon last names. And we want to also make sure that we have show 50 here. I believe it defaults to 10. So just make sure that you have show 50 so that you can see all of your people, it makes it a little easier on you. So you can see last names A, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the easiest way, now I can come down and click every single one of these. I can also click one. I can hold down the shift key and click on the last A lettered name and it'll choose all of these. So some of you have much bigger databases than 97 contacts and that's an easy way to choose 25, 30, 40, 50 at a time that all start with the last name A. Once I have all of those contacts started with A, I can select bulk action. I can come down to add bulk tags. I'm going to search for custom tags and there's my A and W and I'm going to hit submit. And then I would do the exact same thing. I just have to do it 25 times over. Now realize once you set these tags, they're here. So it does take a little bit of work to set up. And yet once you have them all, then you're done. So um, I would have created all the tags at once just so I can show it to you one more time. We're going to go into settings. We're going to choose command settings. We're going to choose custom tags and then we're going to create a new tag. So the second tag for B is B and E. So we'll put B and E. We're going to tag that red color and click on create. Now, if you create one, and it's not the right color. It's not the right letter. You can always come in before you assign contacts to it and click on the trash can. Okay. That would delete that tag. You can also edit it by clicking on the pencil as well. So if you just wanted to change the color or change the whatever it looks like, you can do that too. Next, we're gonna go back to contacts. We're on B and E. 
So again, we want to make sure that it's sorted by last name. It is staying that way. So just verify that it's staying that, late, like, that way. My friend and coaching partner, Lori Ballon there with the Bs. And we're going to come down to the last B, hold down shift and click. It highlights all of those. And we're going to add bulk tag, custom tag, and we're looking for B and E. You can also type it in if you have a lot of tags, but I can choose B and E and submit. And now you have all of the B and E's filtered. I'm going to go into my account and then show you how easy it is once you have all of your tags put in to decide who you're going to be calling that week when you're doing your weekly sphere based lead generation. So we're going to come into contacts. Now I have all of my contacts. Let's say this week is a and W. I'm just going to filter for custom tag a and W. I'm going to click on apply and I have 261. Now I will tell you when I did this, I did it incorrectly. And you'll probably notice that my tags are based upon first names. That's actually not the way you're supposed to be doing it. I have a little bit of cleanup to do, and yet you can imagine removing custom tags, not quite as easy as a process. So I'm working through that, but don't make the mistake that I did. Make sure that you are assigning these based upon a last name, last name, and then you'll see. So for me, first name, I would have 261 contacts to work through that have a first name starting with A. So that's pretty much it guys. That is the DTD2 method of doing sphere-based lead generation using the custom tags that you can create in command and then filtering your contacts by those custom tags. Hope you found value in this video and as always, I will look forward to speaking with you in the future. Thanks so much.